Hey guys, this is Scro Titus. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tech It. And as you can see, we are in our sorting facility that we just made last episode. What we're going to be working on today is a resource for all this additional cobble and dirt and all this yucky nonsense stuff over here. Now, obviously, some of this we're going to want to keep for our smooth bricks and building and cobble and all those things. Um, but we're going to have lots of excess like we did from before this facility was built. And you can see that down here in these chests. We've got just tons and tons of dirt and cobble and gravel with no purpose whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it would make a lot of bricks and we still need a lot to complete uh, a lot of our buildings here. But uh, I want to start converting some of that into scrap and then into recycled boxes I think it's a, it's a really neat idea and you get some some random items from it and I think that'd be fun to see what exactly we can get from it so today's episode is we are going to be adding a recycler and I think we're going to do it right here in the front uh, of our storage facility so stay tuned guys that's what we're up to today all right, guys, welcome back to today's episode, and the project that we're going to be focusing on for the majority is going to be a recycler. Real quick, though, I want to uh, increase our output of energy for our quarry, so we've gone ahead and made 15 redstone engines. That's just as many as I could throw together in the, in the time span between now and the title screen, <laughs> but... Uh, what we're going to do is just add them into this spot here, I think. So we can get things going a little bit quicker, okay? So if we just peek over here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and you guys get the idea how this works. I showed you how it was all put together over there. So I'm going to finish this up and then get right back to you. All right, guys. So we're actually going to configure this side a little bit different than we did uh, these because I don't have enough red alloy wiring to, to continue this structure. So what we're going to do is use one of our uh, awesome uh, viewer, viewer tips and... Uh, actually just place an extra wooden conductive pipe and the uh, redstone engine down and then use the uh, tin wrench to turn it and look at that alakazam it's magic it actually does work right so there's that 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 and there you go looks pretty cool I think and eventually what my plans are is to do this at all of these, top and bottom. And that will effectively quadruple the amount of energy that I'm supplying a quarry. Alright guys, real quick, I've been trying to consolidate some of the items from the chest down below. And... I wanted to show you what we do with items that we find. We just throw them right into this beginning sorting chest. Now, this only works for items that we've set up in the filter. But luckily, all these things we set up as mineable. So they'll go in there, and each pulse, they'll get sent on their happy little way. See, there's some sapphires that we sent, and we should see some... Yep, there's some of the copper that we brought up. So everything gets gets to go its own merry ways, and that's the way the sorting facility set up. It's... It's really awesome. <laughs> I, I, I love the way that I have it set up so far. So, But like I said before, this is going to be where we're setting up. And I'm actually going to have to clear this out because I think we're going to need the space. This is where our recycling system is going to go. So let's check out what we need to make one. There's a recycler, okay? And we're going to need some glowstone dust, some dirt, refined iron, and a compressor. Okay, well, what's in a compressor? Six smooth stone... A machine block and an electric circuit. Well, I went ahead and I made an electric circuit and a machine block, so I just need some smooth stone. I think I have some up here. Yep, we do. All right, so let's get that in place first. What was that again? Put 
that in there is our machine block. If you remember what a machine block is, eight refined iron around the outside. Oh, there it is right there, eight refined iron. We get our smooth stone around the outside on either side, and then our electric circuit in the bottom, and we've got a compressor. Cool, cool. And then a recycler is going to be a recycler in the middle. Oh, we're going to need some dirt. I know we've got dirt up here. Right here, I believe. Yes, sir. Recycler. Set it up. We've got a compressor. We've got our three dirt. Which, that seems like a funny thing for <laughs> a recipe to build a machine that has dirt as one, part of its base blocks. But, oh well. And there you go. There's our recycler. Now, I'm not familiar exact with exactly how they work, but uh, we are going to need... Hmm, do we want to use transposers? No. I think we're going to want to do uh, transport pipes. So, do we have some wooden transport pipes? I think we used them all at the beginning. Yeah, we made them all conductive, so we need some wooden transport pipes, some redstone engines, or... Uh, Actually, for the time being, I think... Well, let's make two. Let's do it. Why not? And this... It couldn't be more <laughs> inconvenient running from side to side. So let's see what we're going to... We're going to need these pistons. Um, we might need some stone bricks. I think that's all we're going to need for right now. Uh, yeah. That should be good. Maybe We might need those. Probably not. But... Right? And then we put our engines on the wall. Like that, right? And then, should we run two separate? Hmm. Let's do it like this. And I'm assuming, even though it's a dangerous thing to do, that with the recycler, that the item that is being recycled is going to go into the top. So let's place that there. Let's see what the inside... And it does require electricity. Alright, so we are going to have to figure out how we're going to get electricity here. Hmm. That's going to be something for me to sit and think about, guys. What do you think we should do about electricity? We're going to have to put it into the bottom here. Do it right like that. Let's see what this side looks like. Okay, so we should be able to... We might need a bat box and a whole bunch of copper cables wonder what this bat box looks like in here. We got a lot of energy. We might be able to split right off of this line and go over there. That's a lot of copper cable, though, guys. Um, hmm. This is going to be something to think about. And you know what? I think I'm going to take the time to go ahead and plan this out a little bit. And then I will get right back to you guys. All right, guys, we're back, and I actually uh, stole the bat box that we had put in the extractor house over underneath the tree farm, the rubber extractor, because uh, we don't have it hooked up to electricity yet. So <laughs> there's not really a need to have the bat box there now. So I figured, why not just use it here? So I went ahead and I borrowed that, and now what I want to do is actually set up, and this stuff's actually going to have to move, but, um, you know what we'll do, we'll put this down right here. I want to, uh, do some fence posts, because I have a plan... to do some we need to run cabling and it's going to have to run into here but also I'm going to have this mnemonic uh, piping coming out of here instead of having this chest to collect stuff the, uh, the goal is going to be actually to have 
a chest in the macerator house. And I actually, I think I'm going to put a second floor on there. That's going to be a future episode, obviously. We're not going to take care of that today. But I want to build, um, to make it believable, do sort of like, um, I don't want it right there. I want to do, um, what the heck are they called? Like, uh, electric post, you know? All right, guys, so I've got 48 insulated copper cables. Um, I really hope it's enough, but I don't know if it's going to be. Let's see. Alright guys, so there's our telephone wire system. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not finished with these uh, mnemonic uh, pipes or tubes. Obviously I need to continue them and I need another bit of fence right there. Uh, let me actually go finish that up. Real looks pretty good. I like it. Actually that turned out a lot better than I want now. Uh, I want to do a road or pathways, and it, it's going to go obviously straight through there. Oh, what the heck? Somebody, oh, where'd you heck do you come from, mister? Did he die? No? Nah. Dang. This dude ain't, dude ain't messing around. Come get yourself some, mister. Anyway, I'm going to have a road. I want it to come down here. The main one's going to be out there, obviously. It's going to come through here, a small side street that's going to come this way and here, off there. And then I may continue it this way. Yeah, I probably definitely will continue it that way because our, our little area is going to expand. The, origi the original plans, remember, was for this entire mass to be covered in machines and buildings and structures and all kinds of fun stuff. We're going to get there eventually, guys. But uh, for right now, let's go check out our... Uh I'm just going to put this in here for now since I know that that's what that's going to be used for. But let's see if we're getting... Do we have juice in here? We do. It's full up got full power here so um, why not let's see how this works let's just kick on the cobble now I set this up with two separate switches one is for the dirt here uh, I thought I may need that I may want to use that dirt sometimes it's not backed up uh, see that's empty this one's empty so I don't want to use the dirt I want to use the gravel so or the cobble sorry but we've got just loads and loads and loads of cobble that we need to start burning up. So, here we go. Scrap. Oh, that was easy. All right, so let's make, uh, we're going to need a redstone engine. Actually, will these stack in here? Oh. That's not right. So anyway, um, oh, you know what? That's backwards. 
Look how cool that is, too. You can do it with pipes. Just switch which way they're facing. There's the last one coming in. All right, so we've got our scrap. And there's a scrap box. Okay. So now the scrap box is going to have to come out of here. And go... Let's see how our... How is our bat box doing? Wow. So our water mill is actually a fantastic source of power. And I didn't know it was going to be anywhere near as good as it is whenever I originally designed it. So that's exciting. All right, guys. So I think we've got things worked out now. You see our scrap is... is being made uh, pretty quickly here. We're almost up to four scrap boxes, so we really need to get this dispenser hooked up. So to do so, we're going to use a transposer, and we've got it right... Oh, we need our screwdriver. I thought we had everything, but I guess not. And actually, we're almost used all that screwdriver up from all of our... Uh, <laughs> excuse the, the, my French, but the screwing around that we did before. <laughs> um... All right, so that's that, and then we're going to put a dispenser right here. And I thought maybe this cobble would look good on top. Let's see here. All right, and just to test it, let's put some dirt in there. Okay. So that works. All right. So we just need to send... Oh, you know what we need? We need to hook it up to this clock. All right, guys. We're back, and we finally got it. There is our wiring. We had to run another thing across the room. I'm not 100% pleased with it. It kind of shrinks the room, and this may... I may end up taking it up... Uh, another notch up to up to a four high column and then have the ceiling at five but for now that's the way it had to be done um, and as you can see the transposers firing we're oh wonder why is it working no Okay, hold on. I might not be able to use a transposer, and if I can't, then this was all for naught. Alright, guys, so we switched from the transposer setup to um, the wooden transport pipes and redstone engine setup instead. I think this will, will work out um, a little bit more smoothly. So I just put a second engine in there. There's our, our pipe. And then we just need the uh, the dispenser there. And we can have the same setup above then with the... Uh, with the basalt cobble and button on top to sort of make the button stand out. And bust that up. And then do this, and do the dispenser above it, like that. Maybe that there? I like it. Our dispenser, and let's... There we go. So there it is, guys. Wait, let's wait for the fire. There we go. That's a that's a screenshot to be proud of. So let's see how the dispenser works. Wooden stick. Okay, next. What is that? Gold dust. Okay, alright. Next, we got a cake. All right. This is definitely some random So, Who wants to eat some recycled cake? Here we go. Another stick. Another stick. A wooden pick. A loaf of bread. 
How many have we got left? We got three left, guys. What's that? Iron dust. A block of dirt. And a mine cart. Well, that certainly is random. Uh, <laughs> the description is pretty fitting. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's gonna do it here for us today, guys. I, uh, hope you enjoyed the build. Hope you learned some things. I certainly did. Uh, this is Scrotitis signing out. And I will see you all in the next episode. See ya.